Today we're going to take a look at AdWords campaign experiments, or ACE as it's referred to. And ACE is a way of split testing different metrics within your campaign. And Google will tell you based on statistical significance whether the experiment you set up performs better or if the control you already had in your campaign can, uh, performs better. And first of all, we're going to look at the metrics we can test and then run through a, a brief example of how to set up ACE. So first of all, on the search side, you can test metrics such as keyword match types, new ad groups, new keyword bids. You can test additional keywords, new ads, and ad group default bids. On the display side, you can test things like remarketing, conversion optimizer max CPA bids, ad group default bids, new bids on managed placements, you can test actual new placements, and additional keywords for contextually themed ad groups. So we're now going to take a look at where, it's, where the experiment tab is. And if you go to the settings tab, campaign settings tab, and scroll all the way down, click on the experiment link, and you can see the steps for running an experiment. Click on specify experiment settings. Today we're going to test keyword match types. It's important to name it so you can know what you're testing. You specify the control experiment split. You can see you can go all the way from 90-10 to 10-90. And then you can either start the, uh, start the experiment manually, which I'm going to do, or you can specify a start and an end date. So I'm going to hit save. And then since we're testing keyword match types, I'm going to click on keywords, which brings you to the keyword tab. And you can see now we have the different uh, experiment beakers here, which have control and experiment, control only, experiment only. And the important thing to do, I'm going to be testing one different keyword match type right now. And um, it's important to set up the... Uh, the other keywords that you're not testing as control and experiment and the um, the keyword that you're testing experiment only and the control that you're testing against here control only and the reason why is either when you accept or delete the experiment if you accept the experiment everything that is control only is delete is paused and the experiment lives on Whereas if you keep the uh, other keywords control plus experiment um, and whether you, whether you accept the experiment or delete it, these keywords that you're not testing are still stay active in your account. Okay, so we're going to hit the add keyword button, choose the ad group. We're going to test broad match. the Truvian way. The important thing here is to click add as an experiment only keyword. Okay, we should have broad match Vitruvian way as an experiment only. I'm going to test this against the control only Vitruvian way. The rest are set as control plus experiment. And we have just set up our first experiment. Um, the way to test this to come back and look at it as traffic accumulates is you can hit the segment button and you can segment by experiment. Google will tell you based on little arrows right here whether your, key, whether your results are statistically significant or not. And one arrow up or down means there's a 5% chance that the metric changed happened by chance versus your experiment. Two arrows is a 1% chance and three arrows is a 0.1% chance. So you can, uh, you can base your decision on whether you want to keep that experiment or not based on the arrows that Google gives you. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.